also I got a notification in my email that a eyepiece I ordered the other day, a 32 millimeter Palosal with 52 degrees field of view has been delivered. And if I didn't get that notification, I could have just looked up at the sky, saw all those lovely clouds, and that would have told me that somebody, if not me, ordered some astronomy gear. So just heading to the mailbox to pick that up. So I got it in the house, so let's open it up and see what it looks like. My dog is interested. Aren't you, Iris? Yeah, you are. Oh, there's that. Got a bunch of foam in here. Styrofoam. Oh, I feel the eyepiece. There it is. All right, move that out of the way. So this is the box it comes in. High point, Plossel 32 millimeter, fully coated. There's the part number. Not too overly expensive of an eyepiece. Oh, look at that, that looks nice. Oh yeah, that's real nice. Oh, I can't wait until we finally get some clear skies so I can try this out. Got dust covers. Oh, that one's on pretty tight. Yeah. There we go. Well, it'll definitely keep the dust out. See right down in there? Oh, that's nice and wide field. Very nice. Yeah. Well, not much I can do with this until it clears up, so I'll give you an update or complete this video when uh, it clears up outside. I'll do a cell phone test. I'll hook my cell phone up to it and I'll show you on my eyepiece that I have been using, which is a Vixen Zoom 8 to 24 millimeter. And I'll show you the comparison of that at 24 millimeters and then this one. And the view I should get should be a bit wider field of view, which will be nice on the 8-inch uh, SCT that I use for a lot of my viewing and sketching. So I'll continue this once I get a clear night. Currently on lunch break at work, but I believe we're going to have clear skies tonight so I can test out that uh, eyepiece I got. Look at that. Nice blue skies. Awesome. So no clue if you can see that on the camera, but it's pointing at Orion right now. Um, Orion is just coming up over some trees. So I'm going to hook up my cell phone to my Vixen Zoom eyepiece at 24 millimeters, and I'm going to take a few second exposure of the Orion Nebula. Then I'm going to swap it out and hook up my new 32 millimeter Plossel eyepiece with the 52 degrees field of view and we'll do a nice comparison of those two. So here comes those previews. Alright, so the phone is hooked up to my Vixen Zoom eyepiece. It's set at 24 millimeters. Um, I have it set on the Pro settings so that I can do an 8 second exposure at ISO 800. Um, I did have manual focus all the way up. Uh, 8 second exposure, ISO 800, so let's do that shot. Alright, now that that's done, that's what it looks like through the eyepiece with my camera. So not too bad for a cell phone shot, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone off this eyepiece, switch it up to the 32 millimeter, and see what kind of field of view we have in comparison to this. So let's check that out. Okay, so I got the 32 millimeter Plossel eyepiece in that I just got, and I have the same settings. I have manual focus all the way up, eight second exposure, ISO 800, so let's take a shot. 
see what that looks like. All right. So there's the field of view in this. It's hard to get because the eye relief on it is a lot higher than or a lot further away than on the zoom lens so it's really hard to get and I don't have a whole lot of room for don't have a whole lot of room in there for the bracket to really hold on to so that's what I'm working with here and that's my result So all in all, I have to say, that is a nice field of view, and that's not even with the focal reducer in. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with this eyepiece. Definitely going to be using that. Um, tonight is not a night, of or a night of sketching, so I'm going to be setting up and doing astrophotography tonight. But that's the 32 millimeter eyepiece. And I am pretty pleased with that. I am, that is a good purchase. I would highly recommend that. And visually, I already checked it with my eyes. and The view is just beautiful. The wide field of view. And also, it's got the rubber cup on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to do uh, reviews and video at nighttime. But this little cup right here pops out. Like so. So that when you put your eye up to it, it's definitely puts you at the right distance away from the lens in order to see the whole field of view. So, yep, I'm happy with this and I will edit and maybe throw a little bit more in. Who knows? Bye.